Welcome to Gun Game, a new game mode for Critical Ops coming in patch 0.96. In this mode, both teams will face each other as usual, but this time there will only be one winner. You'll start with an assigned weapon. With each frag, you'll level up and get a new weapon up to level 15. The first player to score a kill at level 15 wins the round. All players will have a gun and a knife, except on the last level where you only have your knife. You'll always level up when you get a knife kill, however if you get killed, you'll lose a level instead, so watch your back. And in case you didn't notice, the headshot icon is back. The next thing though is very awesome for a lot of you players who like opening up cases, myself included, they have a new case ex opening experience. So as you can see on the screen, you can actually mul open multiple cases at once, different tiers, whatever you want to do. They're making it more easy and more, they've added a lot more animation as you can see. So the last topic of the patch notes is the weapon skin improvements. Weapon skins were updated for all the weapons. We aim to get our weapons to look as realistic as possible. These improvements will bring us closer to that goal. So as you can see in any FPS game, the goal of developers is to make the game more realistic. And I in fact agree. Look at the Deagle in the first photo. As you can see, it says old right there. This is the old game. And now that they've gonna update it more, 
this is a new this is what the deagle looks like now you could obviously see a change um and how the deagle looks in the second photo in the second image it just looks more realistic and you can obviously tell 100 percent old ak a new ak so as you can see it just has more reality to it as far as the shine goes or yeah the reflection on the material and just the way it looks you can just definitely tell that they have improved on the graphics which is what a lot of players want when it comes to fps games Alright YouTube, so now that we've seen all the history of Critical Ops from 2014 all the way up to the year 2021, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I can't wait to see what Critical Ops brings to us for the next upcoming years as far as content goes, update, updating the game, and just improving everything in general. They've done a very good job so far, and thus, as I end this video, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Critical Ops content. But without further ado, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video, and that's going to be it for this one. Peace.